A beautiful morning to you. Thanks for your time with us here on Plus TV Africa. At this hour, we take a look at the newspapers, a look at the headlines, and with the help of our guest, we make sense of it. My name is Felicity Ezewika. I have with me today um, a lady and a gentleman. I'll start with Dr. Femi Idewu Adewoke. Thank you very much for You're coming. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. And of course, we have uh, Ifi Oji, policy analyst. Hi, Felicity. Good Pleasure morning. Pleasure to have you. Good morning. All right. We will start with the nation this morning. And there is a picture here that I'd like to start with. Uh, the duty of government is security of lives and property. Official of Can Yobe State on a March in solidarity with Leo Sharibu, who had spent two years in Boko Haram captivity. That's what's on the front page of the Nation newspaper this morning. It, it's not the screamer, but the picture is a, a picture is what a thousand words. So that's um, there. Um, there's a side bit to it. It says Can leaders march for Leo Sharibu, and then the big one. Disco's licenses likely for revocation over poor power. Um, problem of electricity supply is distribution minister fact to decide firm's fate. Now, we had a conversation on this a little earlier with the director of budget who was here with us um, moments ago. Uh, you might want to catch up on that subsequently. Um, at the very top of the paper, we have excess crude account drops uh, from $325 million to $70 million in one month. Uh, it has two riders to that story. Um, ECA depletion dangerous, says as far as uh, states to earn more from VAT increase. At the top, we have other stories. So we'll start with uh, Buhari appointing Ponde as acting NDDC MD. And then suspect held for murder of presidency director. 63 under watch as Lassa fever enters Lagos. Death toll now 103. Find details of that story on page 44. Let me just show you a quick. Um, this is how the front page of the nation looks right now. Okay, that's um, what we have for you on the nation a newspaper. Uh, so over to you now, gentle man and lady. I'll start with you. Your thoughts? Well, two things. The excess crude account drops from 325 million to 70 million in one month. Uh, going through that story, it said that it is clearly that the governors have a say in how excess crude account has been managed, that they keep withdrawing and they must share. And that started from the previous administration and is still going on. And it tells us now that we have revenue problem in the country. Nigeria as a whole has revenue problem. We've not been earning as much <coughs> as we are meant to. And then the experts who have analyzed these incidents have said that we run the risk of uh, foreign exchange going up and then Naira devaluation. So, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say anymore because it's becoming frustrating day in, day out in this country. If you your take. I think it's a pretty um, uh, unfortunate uh, position that we've taken in Nigeria because we're putting ourselves at a risk of a pandemic of economic issues. Um, firstly, with the, um, with the lack of funds within the ECA, we don't have uh, access to what would typically be like a buffer for us, and uh, it also keeps because most of the, most of the I know right now they're going through a lot of bond issuance and in different instruments that are being backed by the uh, federal government, and even yes they have been successful, but the truth of the matter is that with this kind of information, right, I as an investor trying to invest in my country, I will definitely think twice about making such investments because those are the kind of things that will give me security. I know that my the country has enough money to uh, to carry the weight of any kind of investments that are made uh, by citizens or whoever that are being issued these uh, in instruments. Uh, let me take your thoughts on the two years since uh, Leah Sharibu has been in captivity and the CAN leaders are asking the government to do more and the more they're asking is for her release. Well, it's very unfortunate that this young lady has been there for two years. Um, in some quarters, he said that she's pregnant. It's some people say we don't even know what's happening to her. For me, I sympathize with the family. 
the most. And government, in their own way, the president he said, uh, you should have statement yesterday, that they're going to do everything within their powers to get Leah Sharibu and other captives released. But, in my own view, I feel we have politicized this issue. We have made too much noise about it, both from the uh, populace and the government. And we're not, you're not discussing with um, people who are rational. That's the Boko Haram now. You're discussing with guerrilla warfare. And with all this noise around it being publicized, because I read somewhere that the mother has actually contacted the EU government to come into our rescue. With all this noise, these insurgents, they, see, they will see Leah Sharibu as their price asset. And the more the noise, the more the value. Okay, we'll go to the Punch newspaper now. Um, the big one here is illegal migration. We may impose tough visa rules on Nigeria, EU warns. Uh, Union declares Nigerians among top 10 illegal immigrants in Europe. Nigerian criminal networks active, says EU demands solution. And then we have uh, just above the top, uh, the masthead rather, we have, it's wrong to think National Assembly members are overpaid. That's Buhari speaking. Mm -hmm. And then Akon Day's APC Peace Panel to receive a memoranda next week. A Nigeria's oil reserve will dry up in 49 years. That's uh, DPR uh, talking. NCC now post to verify subscribers' addresses. That's uh, one uh, for you. And uh, the picture I brought out there is um, world heavyweight champion is shown here with the Akarigo of mm -hmm. Remo Kingdom. Um, he's uh, taking a picture and celebrating uh, there. Um, underneath it, we have uh, Ibado Obas blackmailing me to gain sympathy. That's uh, Olu Ibado. Uh, we also have port users groan over inability to evacuate cargoes. Oil discovery in North will aid restructuring. That's uh, Feb Babalola. And then last of fever, Lagos places 63 under surveillance. It's strange my brother jumped into Lagoon. That's a sister of societal man. Abiodun Amosu defer over $250 million World Bank facility. Okay, these are some of the headlines for you on the front page of the Punch newspaper. And behind it, you have uh, Thursdays with Abimbola today. The talk is one thing, one good thing about Buhari's regime. What, what is calling him regime? No, uh, yeah, Punch of Punch of. I think it's much of the militarization. It's setting agenda. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's, it obviously shows there's a level of militarization. No, in but general. that's their position. Is everybody yeah, their, going no, to be they, taking they're, they're it? There are few others. They seem to be permeating, and everybody's now saying regime. We don't have a regime in this country, do we? Uh, but but I, think, I, I think they're basically well, uh, making a social commentary <laughs> yeah. on I guess the way so he has well. ruled and yeah, exactly. the method of ruling of, of, the, uh, of our leader. All right, let's look at the big ones here. The visa, top visa rules for Nigeria. <laughs> First, the U.S., now, exactly. the EU. Let's start with you, Ishii. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we've spoken about this almost ad nauseum, but what I will say, just to add to what we've said in the past, is that, yes, America has taken a stance, but when you look at the, what was actually put in, in the executive order, the, it's, it's not really so clear in terms of what we're going to do with, uh, for example, uh, um, uh, people that have already chain migration, what they're going to do with people that already um, have family already um, living in the mm -hmm. States. We, it's not really clear about, uh, uh, it's not really clear about um, mar uh, naturalization by marriage. It, there's so many, many gray areas that, that they have, they, they're still, that people are still sort of debating over. And this thing has been signed almost like, I think it's a month now since yeah. it's been signed. And we're still debating the gray areas. There is no certainty. One thing about the law is that you always, there has to be certainty of the law for, for complete ob obedience or, or to obey the law. So. It's one of those things that we have to really put this down. But speaking about the EU specifically, though, uh, Nigeria, it's, it's, not a, it's not a surprise that Nigeria is a top 10 because we're so, we have to make up how many, almost 10% of the entire population in Africa. So, of course, we're going to be top 10. In fact, it's a, it's, 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 it's a wonder that we're not we're top two or top three. 
So what I will say is that they're they are bucking up the wrong tree because a lot of the contributions that are going on in America and uh, Europe. In, the, in Europe are made by Nigerians who are well-meaning uh, and, and, and uh, so yeah. Um, I wanted to take you on the Lassa fever situation in Lagos State. Uh, what do you make of the measures being made and the efforts to educate the public by the Lagos State government? Well, I think Lagos State government uh, on uh, health issues generally, public health and Lhasa. I think um, they've tried. They're trying. They're doing their best. They're informing people, uh, and I feel people need. As I always talk to Nigerians, we are our own problems because we need to have our own personal and public hygiene on top. Yeah, government we do their bit, but the the the, the repercussion or the effect of not doing ours is on us, not on government. The, the Nigeria oil reserve will dry up in 49 years. Does that scare you guys? I think this is actually being, uh, being very generous in terms of what they have yeah, said. We yeah. know, for example, that based on all, all of the commentators have said in the past, yeah. is that the, the prediction is for 37 years, which is even more scary than even saying 49 Nine years. years. Because, I mean, we have really depleted our reserves, and that's why there's been such a call for other uh, yeah, diversity. Diversity. Of, of, of funds. Yes, I mean, of uh, income generated yeah. in the country. So, I, I mean, this isn't news to us, but I understand yeah. why the concern keeps growing. Okay, let's see what the Vanguard has for us this morning. Um, uh, Delta headsmen killings. Lack of fund stalls out of sea of six assumed cupses. It has uh, four riders to that story. Um, soldiers threatened to destroy our communities. Um, our people can't go to farms. Don't come near Isoko land, IDU tells killer headsmen. Two killed by suspected headsmen in Edo State. Is this a resurgence, do you think? Because for a while we've not heard about suspected headsmen, you know, taking on people. Now, in the past two weeks or so, there seemed to be like uh, a move to bring them back in the news. Yes, sorry, yeah. <laughs> because we've said it here before, when people don't get punished, there's no repercussion for whatever they've done, they will go back and feel, oh, we can do it and get, uh, we can get away with it. So there was noise, there was a lot of noise, counter argument, it's men, this, so it went down a bit. Some individuals, some communities took to harms and they faced, tried to save themselves from the headsmen. So they went back. Now they, the headsmen or whoever is doing it in the name of headsmen, now they've re-strategized and they're back. Just like we said that prior to November last year, the insurgents' activities went down. And immediately after December up, to, up until now, we've seen the What should be the actions being taken now? Because, uh, I mean, it's always best to stop things before they escalate so much. If this is... Uh, the Niger Delta region, that part of the country has given us some quiet um, in recent years. Well, in the papers yesterday, I read the Delta State and um, what do they call them again? The old Niger Delta. They have a group like that. They're looking at their own Amoteko. So they're going to take their own security. Amoteko is yeah, the that's what, uh, they said. that's what they said in the papers. Uh, uh, okay, let's, let's uh, look at some other headlines here. Um, uh, discos have failed in part supply. There's the federal government. Uh, moves a uh, reversal of uh, privatization. Uh, Buhari Sachs, NDDC, Act in MD. Um, State of the Nation, uh, there's something on page 8. It says, uh, headsmen, bandits, kidnappers, and rampage in Klatu, Niger, and Cross River States. Um, as if I saw that before I talked about, yeah. you know, their resurgence uh, in the news. And uh, something on cashless policy meant to reduce volume of money in circulation. Uh, that's uh, from the CBN. Uh, Leah's mother begs British PM to help rescue her daughter. Her mm -hmm. uh, Atarok director was murdered. That's fine. Um, page uh, seven of the paper. Behind it is the usual uh, sports stories. If he, which of these headlines? Uh, I, I are think take let's on? look at. I have failed to look at the screamer in the previous paper, but it's come up again. It's discos have failed in power supply, yeah, and mm -hmm. the the federal government is. Uh, almost, I guess, in a way, threatening the discos and mm -hmm. telling them that they have to make sure that they perform and they are, 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 are more efficient. Otherwise, they're thinking of bringing uh, company Siemens to be the overall um, disc, the, um, distribution company mm -hmm. for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you look at the history of this uh, relationship between the federal government and the dis, um, distribution companies, you know it's always been a very tumultuous one. 
And uh, it goes back, I mean, so obviously, to even the beginning of Buhari's uh, 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 term in office, not regime. <laughs> and he, there was obviously the, 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 the remittance of funds that, that they sort of always seem to fall short on. But I, when you look at it in closer analysis, you realize that the money that they are using basically to buy the gas to um, to generate the uh, power, right, is completely it's it's higher than uh, the money that you use for uh, has been given as a general order for the tariffs for gas. So by the time the the money trickles down all the way from the uh, transmission companies all the way down to distribution companies, they are running at a deficit. Each of these companies and each of these bodies are running at a deficit. So there's obviously no way they can meet up with these uh, remittances. I mean, I heard that as well as, uh, fast forward to early this year, they put a, the federal government put a specific order on um, the uh, discos and had a, 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 a remittance uh, rate that they had to meet up with. And again, I don't think they're really trying to work together with these discos to ensure that there is a solution that's long lasting for everybody. You know, we just hope that they can f and they can uh, find a way out of this impasse. Certainly hope so too. Um, let's see uh, the uh, the last paper for this morning. Um, what we can do with it before the time is up. Uh, this day newspaper, Bonu Gov Nigeria needs a hundred thousand more soldiers to crush Boko Haram. Once fifty thousand recruited from Bonu, urges Buhari to revisit 2016-2017 military strategy to defeat insurgency. And then uh, again, the hand of a far distribution company that. If he just spoke about mm -hmm. and then fg states lg's share 647.35 billion naira january allocation there seems to be some you know up climb um world bank okays 2.185 billion dollar project support fund for nigeria mm -hmm. Uh, Rivers condemns attack on Odili holds Silva Oshimole responsible. I want to. I want to. Uh, do, does it worry you when you hear um, project support fund? Are there things? That yeah, it, it, it sounds. It sounds like a cap in a hand. There's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It sounds a cap in hand. But to be honest, I actually don't mind this particular in this particular instance because these are things that we have talked about in, on this program time and time again in terms of getting the federal government to take a complete and utter lead on anything that is welfare related in terms of their spend for and the budget spend for the year. So if you look at in closer detail at the, at the project, because this is, I think this is a banner story for this day. Look at the closer, in closer details, right? Each of those projects, minus the state's project for um, the state, uh, 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 for Ogun State, right? The, the amount that they um, um, carved out for Ogun State, right? All other projects are nationwide, one, and two, they are specifically for issues that are welfare related to deal with the, 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 the total number of people that are in the country. And the last thing again is also to look at the, uh, the fact that the identification number, um, the identification system has also been addressed in this. So hopefully some of the problems that we're having with our security can even in, 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 a, in a very roundabout way be dealt with by these, uh, by these, um, these funds. Uh, which of these would you want to take on? Well, she's talked about the power sector, but I'll just say, make a statement, then I will refer to in Vanguard what Olufasan said, okay. and that's a call on Nigerians as a whole. Um, the power sector needs to be what they call total and final privatization. You cannot be the regulator and be a player. That's what the government is doing. Mm -hmm. They're saying they're bringing semen. Will semen work with them under the same condition Yes, yeah, and, and if I may just jump in, if I recall as well, Siemens, a couple of, I mean, 10, 10, 10 20 years ago, was at, the, was at the center of complete and utter scandal. To the point where Siemens yeah. did not operate in Nigeria till now. So for them to even think of bringing them back smells fishy to me. So, so that will now take me to what uh, Olufasan is saying there. The he truth said, is, yeah. is Nigeria lacks the critical mass of enlightened and active citizens to protect to protest against bad leadership. Absolutely. I agree with 100%. That's our problem. I've always said that. Mm. The people are too docile. They don't, have, they don't seek knowledge. Mm -hmm. They don't want to learn. They don't want to relearn. They don't want to reinvent themselves. Is but doctor, the doctor, I don't is think that, it's a fair statement. Is that because a fair statement? We, 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 because we have people like you normalize. speaking yes. about no, issues. No, and we've normalized no, no, it to a point no, no. where, uh, sorry, You're sorry, doctor. About people like me. We are minorities when it comes to, when it comes to uh, the leadership but, of this country. But I, I don't me think it's a cop-out as minorities. well. I think it's a cop-out for them to just make that sweeping statement. Because at the end of the day, right, we, we, they ha we have found a way to normalize, normalize inefficiencies. And that is what the issue is. If we, if we are able to 
take our government to task, right? And they are even able to take themselves to task. Then, and we don't normalize inefficiencies. We will not be where we no, are but today. But his, his, his agreement is, is that active citizens to protest yeah, against to do bad what you're leadership. Saying. Yeah. The, the, what you're saying for us it to do it is not the we responsibility act. of the citizens. Oh, it not, is. No, no, hang on. It no, is. no, no, not to, to, when not, hear me out. Failed, you don't is. know what I'm asking. Okay. What I'm about to say, though. Okay. In fairness, it is not the responsibility of the of the of the Nigerian citizens to 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 um, st put the, uh, the the temperature of the country in terms of normalizing the inefficiency. The inefficiency has to be tackled by people in leadership. That is what I, that is we where I said. We don't have leadership. I've always said it. We don't have that's, the, that's the argument. We, don't have, we, we are don't saying anyway, similar okay. thing, but yeah. in you know a what? different we know way. Okay, yeah. let's, okay. I will, I will just, just, okay, just, just, talk, just, just talk about that, just real quick. Sorry, yeah. doctor. Let's yeah. look at something positive today. Yeah. Investors <laughs> take 458 billion for 140 billion. billion. So, yeah, 30 billion. Billion. so you can tell just by putting their mouth where their money is, yeah. Nigerians are speaking out. They yeah. are taking a bet on Nigeria. Yeah. They're taking, and I think that's any a stronger statement you can make more than anything else that you're going to say by speaking. Yes, fine. But yes. In, back to what we're saying about, you see, those, those investors are in this minority mm. compared to what we're talking about in leadership. Nigerians presently, we don't have men of characters in leadership. I'm surprised, I was so surprised, with the, uh, we, we didn't talk about it, with what President Mohamed Buhari said about the National Assembly. Okay, I, I don't think I saw uh, it, it is about the, about the money. Yeah, it is where, where they mentioned about yes, the it is yeah, well, I, I did mention for me, it, yeah, as he mentioned, yeah, 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 for me okay. as a Nigerian reading that story, mm -hmm. it just tells me that our president is been is been living in oblivion. He didn't know. He doesn't know what is going on in the country because right now this National Assembly they get so much take home package and they're asking uh, and that's a federal house of rep. They want to buy four hundred uh, Toyota Camry two thousand and. 2020 model in this kind in this type of economy is that that's insensitivity in the in governance oh well, and that's what Olufasso is the saying the issues will always be here with us and we will keep talking about it yeah. and hopefully yeah. we will begin to make the right moves and change mindset we, and that's yeah, we why need, we have we need more people like we need this, more really. people that's what I want to say we need more Nigerians to get enlightened to get participatory in governance I guess that's where we're going to stop it. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the program today. Always a pleasure to talk with you Thanks both. Thanks, Felicity. Welcome. Thank you very much. And to you that's been watching, thank you for your time, for your company, and for, I mean, basically being there for us here on PLOS TV Africa. We'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself.